Hey YouTube, so today I'm doing a video about the Aegis or this NPC over here near Solon City. He gives you a decent amount of money for beating the fake Pokemon, of course. And it's not bad compared to Purple Entity, which is more harder, apparently. I'm just gonna show you guys the Pokemon that you need. In order to find Magmar, to get Magmar, you come to Mount Cinnabar and you just search around in the grasses. And I'm just saying now that it's sort of rare, so it could take you a long time to find it, or you can find it like that. Uh, that's my like first encounter. Well, it may take longer to find for the rest of you guys. In order to find Voltorb to get Electrode, you go to Celadon City and you just keep walking until you get to Lavender Town. And there's a small patch of grass next to it, which is considered Route 10. And you just search around there until you find that. It's right over here. This grass right here. This is where you can find Voltorb. It's not too rare. I say you have like about one out of five chance to find it in this grass. There is a old turb. Took me uh, about a minute to find that. There are three ways to get Eevee. One, you get it from an NPC. Two, you trade. Or three, you buy the game pass and find it yourself. Now the NPC that gives you one free Eevee is in um, Celadon City and you walk in this blue roof building and you talk to this guy and he will give you a free Eevee. And if you have the game pass, you can just um, hop right over to Pewter City and walk towards Radiant Forest. And just look for Eevee in here. Whatever. That is not easy. Alright, no, I'm just kidding guys, but I can't find Eevee, it's taking me way too long. <laughs> so, um, you can only find Eevee in Viridian Forest if you have the game pass.
There we go, I encountered EV for you guys. Uh, so, just saying, this only um, works if you have the game pass. And then if you don't have the game pass for EV, then you won't be able to find it. Alright, so I'm in Elegant Valley now. And I'm gonna check out the EVs and IVs or whatever. Alright, so you can choose um, between Jolteon or Electrode if you can't get like a Jolteon because you only need one EV. But either one is fine because they're both very fast. You want 252 special attack, 252 speed, and you can put the last stats in like HP. Um, for Electrode, I just put HP and speed because I wasn't going to do anything else with it, so I just made it tanky because why not? And I just put the last points in attack because it doesn't matter. We're only using this for Aegis. And for Magmortar, 252 special attack, 252 speed, and the last points in HP. And for <clears throat> Flareon, 252 attack and 252 speed and the last points in like HP or whatever and the IVs for like all of them aren't really maxed out besides this Jolteon I use it for PvP so IVs are just whatever you don't need IV perfect IVs for this and oh yeah right Alright, the natures you need are Timid, Timid or Jolly is preferred, um, Timid for Jolteon, if you want to keep the special attack up, if you want to train that, and I just went ahead and put this Jolly because it, it was already Jolly nature and all I need is speed, so I was like, whatever. And modest nature for a magmortar. And we have adamant for Flareon. Now the move sets for each of them. Flare Blitz. Um Flare Blitz is all you need for Flareon. The rest you can put whatever on it, it doesn't really matter too much. Because all we're gonna be using on Flareon is Flare Blitz. Um for Magmortar. Um, take Fire Blast, Flamethrower, and Smoke Screen. A fire Punch isn't really necessary. Um, I'm going to show you guys why we have this Smoke Screen. And sometimes Fire Blast can miss, so we can't really rely on that too much. But if you're feeling lucky, hey, go ahead. And for Electrode, of course, you need Thunder Wave. And... If you like, you can take Screech, so you can lower the defense of Aegis if you have like an extra turn, some for some reason. And for Jolteon, you can put Thunder Wave, and you can just put whatever else. But that's basically it. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and tackle the Aegis now. Um, we're gonna use the team that I showed earlier in the video. No legendaries. Alright, let's see. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Electrode, because why not? Electrode, Jolteon. Basically, same thing. So, we're gonna use Thunder Wave. It's fully paralyzed. Now... If it has Screech, go ahead and use that. Nice, whatever. So now we're gonna switch out to Magmortar. Now if it gets paralyzed to turn, well we're gonna at least get one smoke screen off. And I'm frozen there. I'm gonna try not to use heal, see it missed. That's why you need smoke screen. 
because it's gonna start missing once you the more you use it I can't get unfrozen here so I'm kind of screw it on that I don't know if I'm gonna win this oh there you go see he gets missed and it's done So you can use either smoke screen or a sand attack, whichever one you prefer. Just make sure that the Pokemon has at least over maybe two two forty ish speed. Yeah, I'm gonna say like two forty at least, like minimum. Or actually no, hold on. Let me check. Actually, if it's over 200, it should be fun. Because my Flareon can outspeed it when it's paralyzed. So, we're gonna go ahead and try that again. Now, if these Pokemon are EV trained, the same, this won't work. It's gotta have good nature and EV train. We're gonna go ahead and use this. Smoke screen. Smoke screen, there you go. See, it's paralyzed, and you can just spam a smoke screen over and over. The max amount of times you can use it is six times. So, after the sixth time you use it, there's no point because this will happen. Can't go any lower, see? So. I thought out. Now, okay. Please fire punch. Because if I get it really low, it's gonna wanna use repair. And now I can just finish it off with a fire blast. So that time I didn't have to use Flareon at all. And we're gonna do it one more time. But as you guys can see, um, no luck knows. Um, very simple Pokemon to obtain. I mean, if you don't have the Eevee Game Pass, you can still trade. A lot of people have Eevee. And you only need one. All you have to do is stat reset and... Oh, God. Goodness gracious, I didn't heal. But, as I was saying, all you have to do is stat reset it, change its nature with nature stones until you get the right one. And just EV train it, and you should be good. The Pokey Improves are just expensive, you don't need those. So I'm going to use Jolteon this time. As long as your Pokemon is at least, I'm gonna say like 380, maybe 390-ish, you should be able to outspeed Aegis so you can paralyze it. If you have Deoxys um, speed form, then you can use that. And instead of using like what I'm using here, if you have like Reshiram or Kyogre, those are really two strong hitters and you can use those instead. But you just want to make sure you paralyze it, that's the most important thing. Alright, two smoke screens. And I don't want to use any potions or revives, because not worth it. There we go, fully paralyzed. And it's done. So you guys can see, um, good win rate with this team. Um, it should be, like, maybe around 80% win rate. Because I did fail a couple of times where Aegis had, like, healed. 
or something. Sometimes it goes different. Mo most of the time you'll win with this team though. Just some... Oh, you don't need... You don't need, um, Jolteon and Electrode. You only need one of each. Either one. You can choose. You need Flareon for a backup. And your Magmortar should be the one who is lowering accuracy. And... Dealing damage if it can. But that's it for Aegis. If, you, if this helped you, please like the video and subscribe for more content. If you guys have any suggested videos, go ahead and put them down in comments. And I don't know, if I see it a lot, I will make a video about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys.